And hello everyone and welcome to the stream everyone. Hello, been a long time since since we've actually done a PC stream. My fucking mouth just didn't want to play ball there. And hello, sorry that there's no game sound at the moment, just one moment, we will sort that out. I'm going to also have to do a sound check, so please bear with me on that. Me, it's coming through the TV as well. <laughs> Why are you being a dick, etc. Why? Why for art thou dick, etc. Et, why? One moment, I'm going to have to unplug this all now because it's deciding, oh, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Might plugged in now. <sighs> Hello, Joe. Welcome back. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Don't know why, but sound wasn't coming. F isn't coming through on my headset. So one moment. Just got a text. Very professional. So that sound is coming through on my headset. So that should be okay. It might be because I've got this on the wrong audio. So just give me one moment. Uh, let's just see how that goes. Still no sound. It's all the way up, so I don't know why I'm not gonna get. I'm not getting any game sound out of this at all. It's not muted. I know that for a kickoff. I'm not getting any sound at all. Well, that's just sucks nuts, doesn't it? Why am I not getting any sound from my headset at all? Right, I'm just going to quit the game, then we're going to bring it back up. So, sorry if you see my, cam my little camera bit here. It is just because the camera is big. <laughs> so, one moment, we will get the game back up. Hopefully this should fix the whole blooming why I can't hear it issue. I don't know why that's happening. Got it plugged in all the right plug sockets. There we go. Seems to be working fine now. I don't know why it wasn't working earlier. Uh, but now I've got no fucking sound because I've been fiddling around with this. Right. Let's just double check all this before I decide to commit so sound check as always got to love them sound checks yeah he spends most of the time when he's streaming bloody well doing a sound check for fuck's sake bloody idiot Game sound is coming through super quiet, so I'm going to turn me down and it up. And it's not actually coming through at all now, so uh, for God's sake, let us try and figure this out, then, shall we? There we go. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Oh, I thought that might happen. Right, we're going to turn that back down again and turn me up. Testing one, two, three. Bit louder on me. And there we go. We'll leave it at that. 
much put me like that. So professional. Hello everyone and welcome to the stream. As ever, I am Wolfreep54 here streaming at you live across the internet and doing another little one shot. This time of a game that I got into heavily and my other half does play called Massive Chalice. Now if you don't know what this game is, just think of it as a fantasy version of XCOM 2 and you'll get the basic idea of it. Um, we'll get through, go through the rest, but I'm just going to get through my little spiel. If you want to see any of my one shots that I've done previously, just go to my YouTube channel. There is a link down below. Click the link, subscribe, ding the bell so you can get notified of when my next videos come out. And just check out the playlist called Let Me Know If You Like. It's all just little one shots of games I've played. If you would like to see me do one of those one shots and carry on it into an actual stream or playthrough that I put on onto YouTube that you can watch later on maybe, just obviously leave a like on that video. If you want me to do a certain class or you want to set me a certain challenge, you can just obviously leave a, that in a comment down below on that video and I will promise to check it out at ASAP. Um, and if you're watching on YouTube and you want to catch me live, go to tw twitch.tv slash wolfreep54. Um, Go down below, f obviously follow, turn on notifications so you can get notified when I'm next live, and obviously check out my schedule, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at WolfReaper54, and that way you can get all the early warnings I do before every stream, check out my models, let me know what you think of them, let me know what you think of my life as I take photos of it and try to be a bit more social media savvy. But anyway, that all said, we're going to finally get into this. So we're going to start a new game. So Massive Chalice is a difficult game with many new concepts. For your first game, we recommend that you play on normal difficulty with the tutorial enabled. Good luck. So, game one. Hmm. What should we name this, guys? Oh, chat's been going. I haven't even noticed because it's just not appearing for me. Fuck you, fucking Twitch. Love you to bits, but you're annoying. Uh, Stafu and play the game. Start fucking up, up, up and play the game. <laughs> Hello, insane. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Yes, you saw me earlier, Joe. So you shouldn't maybe have to ask me what how I am. Uh, right. So we're going to go either serious names or silly names or mixture of both. I'll let you wonder about it, guys. While I balance start. Yeah, we're going to do this tutorial because I, I know what I get some stuff if I do the tutorial. So are we going to do serious names or silly names? It doesn't really play into it that much, it just is funny. It won't make sense that way. <laughs> okay, alright. There we go. So now we get to pick five houses that are going to be represented in our world. And these houses can, um, can have children, have mottos and stuff like that. So it's literally Game of Thrones-esque. So we've got A to, A to Z. If you want me to go for any of the letters, do say one. In Just type it in the chat and I'll go for it. But I'm going to just basically start looking through. So, Jazer. So, their keep will be called Jazer Keep. Their founding male will be Brandon. And their founding female will be Ida. Fear nothing but ourselves. Battle cry. The Dark Warriors come. Jazer has got my attention there. There are quite a few, so I'm just going to go for a select for you. And if you do pick up any you like, let me know. If not, just say a letter in the chat and I'll have a little look. So, D. Hang on. There we go, there is an actual more page. Johnstone! So, Johnstone. The keep will be called Python. Uh, found in mail, Paul. Found in mail, Emily. Motto, bite them in the night. And battle cry, hiss. <laughs> and by the way, they do shout these battle cries when they go into battle sometimes. So, that, I can just imagine hit someone showing hiss as they go at someone. Uh, Justice Fire. The light of justice will be their keep. Found in male David, found in female Sarah, motto, we are the light of justice, battle cry for the light. 
Seven good names already in the junkie. The Bastion of Retribution. Nemo mi, mi impune lescanti. No prisoners. And by the way, some of this is in random Latin. So let's go for D. Nothing there caught my attention. Dark Maul and Dark Lights. Dark Lights. Repentance. Found in male Hector. Found in female Harmony. Motto. Until we have all. Uh, until we have all been redeemed. Battle cry. To restore our honour. Yeah, I'm adding those. I like them. Any ones you've seen so far, guys? Do you want to let me know? Oh. Sorry, I keep seeing flashes. I keep thinking the chat's going mad. Right. Garnet. Sounder whoosh. Uh, found... Oh god, I'm not, I'm literally not going to read that. So there's Garnet and Garrett. Stormgate. Found in male Chris. Found in female Hel Hildy. Motto: Never give up. And f battle cry for freedom. It's a bit of a brave art vibe going there. Gaming star. That's a wolf. A witch is that on? Uh, Arcade land. Found in male Nelson. Found in female. Beltor, uh, motto, it's always something, and battle cry, let's play! <laughs> We're going to have to have a silly one. There we go, so Gaming Star is in. Uh, right, let's try key, key, K, fuck's sake. Uh, so, Kalmar. The Arcade, Bolzander, yeah, and Eve is the male founding founding male. Founding female is Eve. F motto: Let music reign. Battle cry: Listen to your end. That sounds quite good. Hey Joe, there's one here you might like, Casper. I don't know whether that's how your dog's name is spelled, but uh, Kirkorovlat. Founding male Bahumil and founding female Dana. Motto: Bravana Vitezi. And battle cry, hurrah! Uh, no, no, there. Oh, Kestrel. Falcon's Rest. Found in male Lysander. Found in female Brogan. Motto: Where the winds will, wind wills. Battle cry, take wing and soar. Sounds like another light, good one. Faultless. Furious, the wolf that bit off uh, one of the Norse gods' hands. I'm trying to remember. He's a hunter god. I'm uh, Tyr. That's it. No, yeah, Tyr. Wolf's Mound Castle. Found in male Frederick. Found in female Lin Lydia or Linda. Motto: Strength of the pack. Battle cry: We hunt. I'm having that. A lot of wolf themes going on here. Might as well, well have Casper. My dog's name is spelt with a cat C instead of a K. Let's have a little see if there's any in C that are Casper before we go back. No, there isn't. Right. So you want me to have Casper, do you? Uh, Alright. There we go. So we've got one more, guys. You better go for the wolves. <laughs> Anyone want to pick the third one? Third one. The last one. You're being unusually quiet today, insane. I just heard a dilly dilly dilly. What was that about? Oh, Spark News is now hosting my stream. Oh, thank you, Sparky. If you're there, mate, thank you and welcome. And if you were the viewer that Sparky brought over, welcome. We're just trying to decide who to have as our fifth family in our little game here. I do like how the little tabs go up and down. Sparky is in the house. Yo, Sparky. How are you today, my friend? We're just trying to pick the last house for this game. Um, just 
anyone say a letter from A to Z. Just say any letter and we'll have a look through that one. And hello to you too, Sparky. Z. Okay. Z it is. So, we've got Zabian, Z Zagamol, Zamba, Zarakera, Le Rek. This is why people pick these names, because the fact is they literally just go, let's just make this streamer fucking fuck this up. Uh, Z Zegar, Ziffer, Zietzvolk, Zelznog, Zelznir, Zenif, Zen... Zenoan, Zephyrophrenis, Zelfplops, Poles, <laughs> Zarius, Zageba, Jahan. If you see one you like, let me know and by saying the page if you can't remember the name. And I'm good, thanks. So are the kiddos. Good. I'm glad to glad that it is the case, Sparky. Jahal, so yeah, how is everyone? I know I've already seen you, Joe, so spark it even. <laughs> Joe Rop. Any of those tickle your fancy? Any of those tickle your fantasies? Yeah, if you didn't know, we're designing our own Game of Thrones here. <laughs> Zenith, page one. Oh, cool. Oh. So, Zenith. Light's Peak is their keep name. Found in male is Koashari. Found in female is Loli. Log. And motto is Strive for Tomorrow. And battle cry, Amelia, give us hope. I like that. There we go. So, from the top, we have Dark Lights until we have all been redeemed. Gaming Star, it's always something. Fenrir, Strength of the Pack. Casper, Predava Vintizi, and Sinif, Zenif, even, strive for tomorrow. Good, I'm glad you're alright. So, the reason why we pick families is because the Vanguard is a party of five heroes that you control in battle. Select the houses of your starting Vanguard is purely cosmetic. So, this is all cosmetic at the moment. When we f get into the game, we can actually have make keeps and actually have families with these people in order to get more heroes because this game in in tur for turns go for us years go for them and they grow old and we have to assign new people so in the thing, we, we go it's taking too long patience patience i don't see what patience has to do with this it should have happened by now life keeps to its own timetable not ours oh it doesn't stop us from trying Good morning. Your ruler has risen. Rejoice and let bellow the horns of birth. <laughs> Immortal protector of the nation, progeny of the great bloodlines, master of strategies, eternal conductor and forger of matrimony. We're here to advise you on how to handle ruling and commanding... <laughs> The horns of battle! Fine, we'll have to do this later. The Cadence is attacking. Heroes, jump in! The ruler will be with you shortly! Hello. I am the ruler. And off they go. We'll explain later. We just need you to take command because our citizens, understandably, find it hard to trust a giant talking chalice. We are not just a giant talking chalice. But the nation will listen to you because you're <laughs> of the blood. What drunkard Forged gave me in charge of this? The bloodlines of the great houses. <coughs> one last thing. Unfortunately, the bloodline ritual that was used to create you also bound you to us. So you can never leave the throne. But do not despair. You can still come So I am heroes. the Emperor. Look inward. I am stuck to the mind. Golden Throne. And follow them anywhere. I'm fine, by the way, uh, Sparky. And yet? Bunny's fine as far as I know. Yeah? I haven't Great. seen this today, unfortunately. No. Take command and search the area. The cadence is out there somewhere. Yes, so obviously WASD is to move around. Q and E is to rotate the camera. This is a lot more better than it was when it, on my old laptop. It took forever to rotate. Uh, zoom in and out with the wheel. 
H is to reset the camera, recenter the camera. Z is to click on a sigil. Oh, there we go. So this is ah, Hector Darklights, founding male of the Darklight family. He has one sibling, Chris Darklight. So that he is brothers. He is 26. He has traits: nearsighted, decreased sight range. So this is where the game gets a bit harder. Bear strength, so increases strength. Quick, increases movement range and personality. Insightful, increases in intuition. Alert, increases evasion against range attacks. That's good. And status, young age, increased dexterity and fertility. Decreased intelligence and intuition. <laughs> he dumb much fuck because he's young. So that's our little stats about Hector. We're going to have a look at each of them later on. So now it's just telling us how to do it. So like in XCOM, he can either move up to his standard movement and they each have two actions. He can either use that action to move once or can use it to move twice. I don't think cover actually works in this, so I don't but I'm still gonna do it anyway, so there we go, that's that. Confirm the order. And he moves there now. And now we have a little move with our other couch. So let's have a look at this one. So this is Bohimel Casper, another hunter. I like the fact that the hunters in this have a massive like bazooka-esque crossbow. It does have a look of Banner Saga about it, but it's, it is a different... It's basically, in, in, if you think of it, it's a mix of Banner Saga meets um, XCOM. And no offence, the graphics of this are a lot better than when I had it on my little laptop. Oh, so he's 38. So he is brainy, so increased intelligence. Low fertility, decreased chance of having children. Hearty, increases maximum HP. Uh, and personality, is a flincher, reduced evasion against melee attacks. So he flinches. So nervous, decreased accuracy. Damn, so that's not good. Uh, status, prime age, increased hit points and strength. No negative effects. So he's in the prime of his youth. Uh, he has two siblings, Del Casper. Uh, I won't go through their little traits unless we have them. And Eugene Casper. So again, two boys. Now this is the problem. If we have no females, we, certain lines may not continue. Others may. And we want to try and continue as many as we can. So I'm going to make him move with her... Uh, fuck's sake, I can't remember your name already. What's your name, boy? What's your name? What's your name? Right, I'm actually going to move him over here now. So we can get a bit more of a scan of the area. Right, so action points. A hero has two action points to spend during their turn. You can click the end turn button or press end to forfeit all the remaining action points for a hero. Okay. Yeah, I know about this. I've just literally done all this. Right, so we have next Frederick Fenrius, our uh, alchemist. Now, alchemists are like grenade lobbers, they are. They have used that little claw thing there to throw these little grenades at them. So, he has three siblings and two of them are sisters. That's good. So, we have Frederick Fenrius, who is 24. He has Hawkeye, increased sight range, impressionable. Personality is strongly influenced by other heroes in combat. So, if they are coward, cowards, he will become cowardice. If they're brave, he'll be brave. Quick study, so increased XP gain, nice. Personality, Avenger, increased damage after the death of an ally. That's cool. Hello, Emma. Welcome to stream, my lovely, lovely bunny. Uh, Reveler, often drunk or hungover. This hero drinks a little too much and has it a little too often. God damn youngsters! And Stalwart, this hero's defensive bearing increased his armor effectiveness. That's good, so his armor will increase. Uh, okay, so there we go. Status, young, so the decreased intelligence and intuition, drunk. A few too many before battle may increase strength, but lowers dexterity, intelligence, and, in and sight. Uh, not much, but we're just doing the tutorial at the moment. And we've assigned houses. I did a mixture of both silly and normal names. I'm going to move him there. And end his turn. On to our two, two caber jacks, which are our melee guys. And they literally have a two-handed caber. Yes, he follows the herd. Right, let's have a little look at this. So, Nelson Gaming Star. So, he has... This is our silly name guy. Uh, longevity. Longer lifespan. Unless he dies in combat. Quick, increased movement. He has no siblings, so his house will disappear if we aren't careful. Whereas the others have siblings. <coughs> oh, for fuck's sake. 
This guy's the influencer of fucking Fenrius bloke because the fact is he's drunk too. Uh, so personality optimistic, true hit, true hit chance in is probably lower than predicted, and reveler and he is prime age. Right, so I'm gonna have you move a bit more out in the front like that. And our last one, the one you picked, uh, Sparky, Kazawari Senif. Has three siblings. It looks like Machete, the moustache, the hair. So anyway, <coughs> <coughs> he is a caber jack as well. He has two sisters, uh, a sister and two brothers. Uh, near sighted, so decreased sight range. Clumsy, decreased dexterity. Quick, increased movement range. Wily, increased evasion against melee attack. That's good for someone who's going to be up front all the time. Uh, Avenger, increases damage after he the death of an ally and prime age. So we've got a few uh, older chaps here. Going to make him go there. So they're going to be moving at the front, the forefront. So here a selection. You can move your heroes in any order you like. But it just made me do it like that because it wanted me. So let us do this. Stealth mode. So what this does is if I move him into cover in his movement, basically he stays invisible. So he can kind of look around, I suppose, and see what's around and see where the enemy are. So he hasn't seen any on that side as of yet. Alright, you do the same on the right here, uh, Casper. Boomer. Buhamu. Ooh. Ah, there we go. First catch of the day. We can't tell you much about the cadence because not much is known. It's old, first sighted centuries ago. And it cares only for destroying our nation with its corruption. So That's this is where pawns like you see here come in. Think of them as attack dogs the cadence creates to spread corruption in the world. Now they've shut up. This is our first, and the enemy we most commonly see attacking us, a seed. Now I did see Sank over here, so I am going to be cautious about this. And move there. And end their turn. I'm going to have my other Cable Jack go on the left, left there, so we have two melee fighters on either side in case he goes either way. And then I'm going to have my Alchemist Get behind cover there. Get ready to lob, lob if need be. Oh, there we go. Another seed. Seeds. Arguably the lowliest of pawns are more nuisance than menace. But if you're going to remember one thing, don't let those runts form a posse. Keep them apart. Yeah, Otherwise, they can like mob you. Jacks get together at one second, I'm Except having my door knocked on. Except not the best night of your life. Sorry about that, I just got told dinner's ready, so what I will do is carry on for a little bit and then go down, obviously, and eat. Anyway, so, we have Bahumaru here. I'm going to have him attack. 52% chance of hitting, because he's drunk, I bet. Let's do it. Give it a go. There we go. A lovely miss. Bahumal, I am so not happy with you right now. Right. Now, Caber Jacks have the charge ability. Perfect, he's in line, so 100%. He's now going to charge up and do damage and knock it back, which is a cool ability. Uh, right, I don't know where the other one has gone. Stealth move there. Still no sign of it. Stealth move there. There it is. Right, can I... Mm, no, it's out of range. He doesn't actually have the charge ability. He only has the normal cable jack knockback. Alright. Let's move you there. Because they can't see him, so he's not in any danger. And... 
Uh, how far can he throw one of those grenades? So free throw, throw flask. You can't throw it that great a distance, no. Cancel, don't do that. Right, end turn, end, end turn. Right, we'll just have to let them... Yeah, because um, Dad's cooking dinner. Right, another seed has come in. So we've got two on this side now. And that one... Yeah, there we go. Oh, glance could have been worse. At least they belong to heroic bloodlines. Oh yes, we forgot to mention. Normal humans cannot survive even a single touch from the Cadence. But because the bloodlines of your heroes are attuned to us and have our power flowing through them, they have a fighting chance. Now he's going to come out of stealth here. So he's going to be revealed. But he's going to take a shot. Come on. Yes! This is why hunters are the best, but they are also the worst. One down. Because they have a very low go. percentage of hitting sometimes. Right. Here's where, hopefully, I can get two for the price of one. Now, 45% chance. I think I'm going to actually move him a bit closer. Just because I don't trust that, the fact that he is drunk. Right, there we go, 72. Come on! There we go! Alchemist, baby! Right, cool. Right, now we can move along and have a little look around. Wobble around there, drunkardly. Uh, right, stealth move. Yep. Yeah. You can move to there. Oh shit! No, another That's enemy. It. Cadence cowards. They'd rather stay back and snipe at you than fight up close. Shit, that was close. I missed. If your heroes are hit. They may forget some of their combat training. The mind is just as vulnerable as the body. Right, let's attack this arsehole here. There we go. See down. Emil, give us hope. Yes, I know. Right. Can't really do much from that range, so move a bit closer. Still got one turn before I can use charge gun, so go on over there and smack her up. Perfect. Let's play. Level up, nice. So he's level three now. So now we just got to try and find all the other cadence, and then that'll be the end of the tutorial. We can actually get into the proper game of this. Right. Confirm. Yes, I am. And that's an answer to you, Emma. Right, let's try and find this last cadence. There is another lapse. Move there. Hi. Shoot. Are you kidding me? You missed even from that range. Fenrir, you Herrick. Right. Come on. Come on. Oh no, not Fenrir. Come on, Frederick. Oof. Meaty damage, but she's still got four. Come on, range guys. Oh, for God's sake, damn. Both my hunters missed. Right. Go around there. And this guy will go this way to try and cut her off if she goes and tries to run away. Oh shit, there's a seed. Bollocks, didn't see that. Oh shit. Obviously, the cover's working. Here you have the hunter. Attacking at close range is good, but attacking from afar, where one can think and plan, is better. If you listen closely, you might be able to hear your group leaving you behind as you line up that perfect shot. Actually, the hunter will be in front of the group, stealthily scouting ahead. Is that what they say they're doing? <laughs> yes, perfect. To restore our honor.
Let's see if we can get a little ball over there. Come on. I know you're drunk. Damn, this guy is good when he's drunk. There we go. We've got level ups that there. Better than I expected. Well done. Well done. I knew you'd have a knack for this. There we go. So that is the tutorial done. Right. So this is our nation, and as we said, we are not in the best. That's fair enough. I might be to and fro as that well because I've got to have dinner. Us because it's cadence. been made already. It's what created the ponds, corrupted our lands, and is slowly tightening on us like a noose. But we do have one advantage. Thanks to several enchanted materials that make up our body, we've been endowed with certain powers. One of them being a way to cleanse the Cadence from this world. It's really quite a miraculous process, wherein we harness the properties of- The thing is, it takes a long time for us to charge up for this. A long time. All of the heroes you just commanded in battle will be long gone when we're finally ready. With all that time still ahead, we need you to protect us. You will take charge of the nation, command its citizens worthy of becoming heroes, and ensure that the Cadence does not reach the capital. Now let's check out that keep you just saved. So, allows heroes to s settle to start a new bloodline. So now this is where we can have a hit. The this is the keep. keep. Bloodline forgers of the nation. The stonemasons did good work here. I'll thank them later. Here, you will appoint one hero as a regent, and one as a partner. And the more experience they have, the more they'll pass on to their children. That goes for traits and personalities, too. Everything's game. And keep in mind, assigning heroes to keeps retires them from combat. You can't have one foot at home and one in the battlefield. So, as you see, it says average fertility here, and then, obviously... So... Who, sh who do you think should own this keep? I think the alchemists did pretty decent there, so I think one of the alchemists lot should do it. Lazy bugger. Right, so it was Frederick Fenris, who is in the vanguard, as you can see. So we could have him as the ruler, but that will retire him from fighting. We don't really want a drunk ruler. Right, so this is one of the Fenris's, his sister. She is Hawkeye, brainy, slow, which means low movement. Pessimistic, and Avenger, and in a prime of her age at the moment, she's got average fertility. Right, another Fenris, a male. He has hearty, quick study, reveler, so he's a drunkard as well. Stalwart, and young of age, so he'll last a bit longer. <laughs> that sounds really bad the way I'm saying this. Right, Lydia Fenrius. She is Hawkeye, impressionable, pessimistic, Avenger, Reveler. Fuck's sake, this family is a bunch of drunkards. It's because they're fucking Norse, isn't it? I think I'm going to go for Martin. So we're going to appoint Martin. Now that your regent is appointed, it's time to decide on a partner. Although this isn't an arrangement out of love, who knows? Maybe it'll turn into that. We've seen it happen. Personality, traits, experience, they're all important here. But just because this is an arrangement of necessity doesn't mean you should reduce these heroes to a pile of numbers, either. They deserve better than that. So this is where we can marry them off, and again, the vanguards are part of it. And eventually we will have other houses that can come into it as well. It's not just these guys. It's just it's only showing these people at this time. Yeah, this guy, I think, is the only one that wasn't Reveler as well. But as you can see, it also says uh, what you know, trainee class they'll make, because obviously she's a caberjack, he's a hunter, so we could make a brutalist or a boom striker. So, but I think because it says chance for children super high, we're going to go for this one. So, hearty, asthmatic, oh dear, quick study, reveler, so a bit of a drunkard, cocky, tranquil, uh, yeah, we'll go with that, so confirm. Super high. Let's do that. Many happy returns. Let's give the newly the Fenrir's line will carry on. Right. So let's give them some privacy. Yes. It's let's... a lot to take in, but you'll handle it. Yes, he's or an alchemist. Your mind will become as cracked as our body. You'll be fine. 
Now then, please join us back at the capital so we can show you some of your other responsibilities. Can someone type in the chat uptime for me, please? Well, this is the thing. Drunk was flinging things and was killing, killed like three of them and hit with every single one. And welcome back. You are here, right? It's a little hard to tell if you're still in your mind's eye or whatever. This is where your heroes return to after battle. From here, you may equip them with any skills or weapons they may have earned, as well as perform research. Basically, we can devote some of our power to help the war effort and the nation. Well, but how do you Whether it's building new ready? keeps, starting a Sage Rites Guild, or a standard Cheers, Crucible. Fun stuff. Right, while it's like this, I am going to quickly go and eat. I am sorry about this. I didn't expect this to happen, but one of those things that I can't help because I do not have, live on my own yet. But I will be back in just a moment. Uh, don't go anywhere. I will literally be probably about 20 minutes at most. All right? I will see you in a moment, guys. Bye-bye.
And I'm back. Hello, everyone. That was quick, wasn't it? I had Shepherd's Pie, by the way, Emma. Just make sure it comes back properly. There we go. So now we get to do research. Hmm. Building more keeps is likely the most pressing option, as you'll be able to foster more bloodlines. But don't shun the other possibilities. With your approval, we can research weapons, potions, armor. If the amount of time required dissuades you from researching something, consider the Sage Rites Guild. Any hero who joins the Sage Rites will hasten the time required for any pursuit. They will never see combat again. So it's like they join keep a keep, in mind, but they don't make Most a blood of our one. power is focused on charging up to cleanse the cadence, so we can only devote enough energy to research one thing joking. at a time. That includes searching for new heroes. It takes a lot of effort to find people attuned with us, and it'll only get harder the more we do it. But choose whatever you want. Right, so we can have a new keep. The Sage Rite, which will increase research. The Crucible. We can start researching better armor for our guys. Better weapons. Items, such as he healing vials, which will take three years. By the way, just so you know, I hope you're in ready for a long haul because you are going to be sitting here for six years like me. Right. Uh, heroes, so adopt a baby girl, adopt a baby boy, so we can make a family adop adopt someone, or discover new heroes. Nation, discover hero discovery boost. And any of that completed research. I think for the moment healing vials is going to be a bit more of a precedence because we need to get some... Uh, healing involved just in case so I'm going to start that research it's very fast so hopefully it'll be alright uh, let's have a look at our heroes standards. nope everything's fine there okay oh yeah one more thing the end of this war is not even a glimpse on our horizon yet but your immortality gives us an advantage the ability to step back and let time pass you can start and stop this timeline at will but we'll also stop it for you should something require your attention. Like a cadence attack. That is a probable possibility. Right. So, 300 years, chalice fully charged. We're, we're still gathering energies inside our body. So on f in 300 years, we will finally defeat the cadence. Let's get this started then. So heroic children, known as trainees, are bound the to the keep. Of birth. A cause for celebration indeed. Babies have been born before today. And it was glorious every time, was it not? What, unbearable shrieking and smells that are even worse? That's your idea of glorious. Yes. They are trained by region and partner in that keep until they are 15, at which point they are transferred to the capital for active duty. So, Terence Fenrius. He is nearsighted, decreased sight range, dim-witted, lower intelligence, clumsy, decreased dexterity. Shit! So, he is the black sheep of the Fenrius family, but he's our first brawlist. Onwards we go. Cool. It always feels weird accomplishing something without having oh, beaten it into submission. I thought mm. I'd be longer. Should have seen my books after I was done with them. So we've got some health files that we can add to our people now. Now I do think we should build a Sage Right Guild because the fact is we don't really... It will help increase research, so we'll do that. Now, placing a building. So, as it shows you, in a, there's an inner region and there's an outer region. Inner regions have no bonuses. Outer regions have bonuses. But you have to build to them first in order to get... You can build them. So, for example... Uh, local guild plus re plus research. Local keep increased fertility. So if we build a keep here, f fertility will go up. Salt stacks, cable jacks plus strength to them. Alchemists increased intelligence, and up here local crucible training plus uh, XP plus. He scared me too. I'm glad I'm scaring people. So I think we're gonna build the. You know what, we'll build it here. There we go, so we see the building work. Let's carry on then. Mm. 
Now a baby born, let's have a look. Lysander Fenrius. Has no stats as of yet. <laughs> I am a statless baby. Do not look at me. Oh. Finally, some action! As you have no doubt surmised by now, it takes time for the Cadence to create its pawns. So they're only able to attack every few years. Unfortunately, you cannot fight back multiple incursions at the same time. Our primary focus is charging up to destroy our enemy, and we can only allot enough of our energy to send out one group of heroes at a time. Pawns don't last long outside of the Cadence either. So even if you win one battle, it'll be too late to fight the other. Choose wisely. Blow the horns! So they attack the outer terrains first, then move inward as yeah. they go. Uh, but if they fully corrupt the place, that means it starts to be harder for us to fight there and we could lose the bonus. So the bonus we could lose here is... Well, it doesn't tell us, but... Reward, uh, a 20-year-old male alchemist. We'll fight lapses and seeds. Over here we'll find seeds and lapses and gain plus 1.5 times experience for a successful mission. I think getting more people is going to be the prime thing, so we're going to go over here. So, our fighters at the moment are do you feel it? Hector Dark Lights that little tingling and all that. In the air before a fight? I know they do. Here is where you can make any last minute substitutions or preparations before you deploy your heroes to battle. And once you give the word, they'll jump in and we'll handle the rest. Make sure they close their mouths when they jump. Because this is our pooled wastage they're going through. But, right, so they can have a new skill. So he currently has follow-up. So grants a quick hip-fire crossbow shot for 50% 50 50 damage if the first shot hits. We can now... What, oh no. I'll lock that one. There we go. So, who else? Roman. I love that as well. And our Kaberjack, Kazawari, who has charge. There we go. And these other two are already level 3, so they, didn't, they already had that. And each of them has a health flask now. Let's deploy. Let's do this! Fine day for battle, all things considered. Every day is a fine day for battle. Right. Let's start scouting around then. Hunters, go forth. Find the enemy. Bummel, you go that way. Hector, you go the other way. Right, Nelson, go with Hector. And Frederick, you go this way with uh, Omal and Kasawari. I'm trying to stay away from these because I remember that these explode if they get hit. Oh, laps. And she's spotting us. Not good. Shit. Oh, you bitch. See what I mean? And she's probably going to do the same. Oh no, she missed. Good. I did not mean to do that, damn it. Fuck's sake, Daniel. Right. Let's move there. I'm now revealed, but I'm going to try and take a shot at this arsehole. Yes! Gotta try and kill her before she can set off that and hurt my guys even further. With the seven, come on. Oh, you are good even when you're drunk, boy. 
right, so there's a lapse nearby on this side. I think we should pull back with the rest of the group and not split up. Because you've already got hit there, uh, Nelson. Plans go boom. Yes, they do indeed. Right. Hunters again. Scout our heads. I've ha I found your alchemist ages ago. Not worth much in a close quarters battle, but they make up for it with their nasty exploding flasks. Just watch out for friendly fire. The explosions are big, so aim well or keep your heroes back. Trust us, you don't want to be on the receiving end of one of their concoctions. Right, go there now, Bohum. Uh, so we've got two lapses, three lapses. All together. Not good. Right. No. Trying to select this guy. Right, Hector. Go off to the left there and just see if there's any more enemies. If not, the rest of you follow him. Don't want to get everyone mobbed all at once. Literally wobbles all over the place for sake. <laughs> oh, they know we're here. Right, one lapse has come straight out. Right, let's get, give her a nice warm welcome, fellas. Smack a one. Nice one. And the cool that pushed back the plant there as well. Right. Wait there. This is a caber jack. They hit things with a caber. Sometimes they hit hard and put things down. Other times they hit not so hard and just knock things out. That's all you're going to say. Simplest way of life there is. Caber jacks. Profound purveyors of violence. <laughs> caber jacks. Profound purveyors of violence. Right, move there. Hector. Seems we're going to be no longer stealthy on this. Oh, they actually haven't seen you yet, so... It might be beneficial if we kept you hidden. Yeah, I'm going to move him there. Confirm. And then he can do flanking shots from if necessary. So those... You killed my sister! Fuck you! Oh! You missed, dumbass! Yes, they are indeed having a party, and uh, the Cape Jack's about to come over and show them what he thinks of their party. Yeah, he does more damage when he just smacks them, so. Actually, no. Not there, so. You know what? <laughs> the way he came over then, so fucking sudden! Right. Don't miss Bahimel. Nice one. And she's got pushed over. Hurrah! And you go there. Drunkardly, obviously. Jesus, 39% chance. I'd rather not. Right. Stay with your drunkard friend. Uh, right. Start moving in here. And let's see if I can from here. Oh, I can, but oh, eighty percent. Damn, I'm gonna do that. Oof, almost a perfect kill. Now who will get the kill shot? Yeesh. The two drunkards aren't doing too well, and he's lost experience because of that. That ain't good. Right, you know what, Hector, you deserve this. Killer. There we go. 
I haven't seen any seeds lit yet, but we've got four of them so far. Right. Oh, hang on. Why can't I... And turn, and turn, and turn, and turn. Well, I don't want to move anyone but my scouts at the moment. Or my hunters. Oh, he's dazed. That's why. Because he was too close to the explosion, so he got whacked into the wall. Ouch. Right. Stealth up. Stealth over here, mate. Nothing as of yet. Right, move around there. Just move over to where he is so he has a bit of a melee cover. And the rest of you do the same. When he can actually start scouting, do it. We'll be alright. There we go, he's a lot better now, good. Right. Hmm. Yeah, he can't move out of that, so we're going to have to move someone. I'm going to move you there and we're gonna start moving you out this way young Bahamaru yep two seeds and a lapse right move there move there on the cover and turn Move there. And I'm going to still have you stealth around a little bit, so you're going to go this way. Yep, I thought there was more laps. So we've got two lapses and two seeds, and the laps has just gone that way. The seed is moving up. Shit, it's revealed my hunter. Because it got too close to him. Oh god. Oh, hold on, Bahamal. Shit. Not good. Right. You leave my friend alone. Fuck you. Me smack you. Two C's are down. Good. It's just a lapse. Forty-one. Right, let's move a bit closer there. And perfect. Lob it over. Right, there we go. And you, my friend, shoot at that one. Finish her off. God damn it! Blumel, this is not the time to miss! Hector, we need you! can't see it, it's literally just out of his range, right? So we've had a few injuries this time at least. Oh, so... Oof. That was good. Love a little miss there. Not good. Right. I know this game does seem easy at this point, but this is kind of easy at the moment because there's not so many different types of cadence about. There are lots of different ones. Hurrah! And... Um, perfect. I think that's all of them defeated. No, there's still one more. I'm streaming tonight. don't want to miss it like last week. I will be streaming at... 12 a.m. tonight, uh, continuing on Banner Saga 3, um, basically starting from where, not, where I left off, not last stream, but the stream before, doing that all again because I was very unwell during that stream and think you guys didn't get a lot of gameplay and I feel very terrible about that, so I want to try and give you what you didn't get. Right, Frederick, you go there. Nelson, move in. Ah, jam it, it was a sneaky seed from behind. Hello! I was hiding! Oh, there's a lapse as well, shit. Okay, right. Alright, Frederick. Brave little Frederick. Went and saw the enemy. Shat himself and threw a grenade at it. Oh, shit! It's a bloody lapse! Oh, 
face, you bitch! He has been hitting even though he's drunk. I just don't know how he's doing it. Yeah, she did show spell bulwarks, right, Em? Oh, come off it! You nincompoop. Right. Finish her off, Caberjack. Nice one. And Nelson, turn around, smack that one. You think you could sneak up on me? Screw you! Let's play! Oh, there's still one more. Damn, right. Hector, go around here, see if there's anything here. Nope, they must be somewhere around. Oh, fuck me, another lap's just popped into existence there. Oh, we can actually walk up and just smack it. Go on. Nice one, heck, Frederick. We hunt. I got fed up with. There we go. That was the last one. Wow, watching this was just like seeing the battle at Screed's Gate again. We didn't tell you about that one, did we? I don't believe so. Screed's Gate, House of the Thieves without houses. <laughs> okay then. Um, so no level ups, but hey, did rather well there. Only a few injuries. Yeah, bulwarks are assholes. They are very heavy duty guys that charge in and just smack you a lot and do great deals of damage. I think they do other stuff. Michael Futter, a level one alchemist, has joined your roster. Nice. Right, let's carry on then. So, ah, yeah, there we go. So it's got one bit of corruption on it. If that goes up to three, that area is lost to us. So we've got to try and stop that. Research complete. The Sage Rites Guild has been completed. Now we have to assign someone ah, to it. Sage Rites Guild. I was always jealous of those in my class who went on to join their ranks. They ended up designing the rotary trebuchet, still used in keeps to this day, as well as the first oak and stone crossbow. First time I went to one, I came in for an armor fitting, and by the end, both of my arms were on fire. <laughs> what a bunch of brilliant scamps they are. Right, so who should we send here? Bohumul Casper. We could send Michael Futter here. Intuition, I think, is the higher the intuition, the better. The highest intuition is act no, is actually Hector Darklights. Jesus. But I think we're gonna have one. This thing. Mm, I think one of the Darklights is gonna end up being at one of our families. So I. think I think we're going to send Eugene Casper in. Mm, I don't know. Oh, Zeph Steedman, Kaberjack. Oh, he's new. Six intuition. Put you in there then, mate. Confirm. Induction to Sage Rite Guild is an honour and commitment of the highest order. A Sage Rite mu must bre break ties with family, house, and relics. Only death may escort a Sage Rite from study. Are you sure you wish to induct Zeph Steedman to the Sage Rites Guild? <laughs> First of many. There we go. So we've inducted him into the Sage Rites Guild. Hard thing to leave. I always found the thrills of inquiry and invention to be worthy substitutes. Just don't get carried away with appointments. Sage Rites can never return to battle. And last I checked, we still need heroes to win this war. Don't we need heroes to win every war? You can build more Sage Rites Guild, but for now, I'm going to build another keep so that we can actually maybe start. You know what? We'll build one there. So we can start getting more families of, or more of our heroes' bloodlines up. Um, not much. We defeated a Cadence uh, group uh, at the. Uh, Pale Sea, but we ha they've corrupted a little bit of the Ebert Marsh. We finished our Sage Rites Guild and promised and gave over one family member, or uh, not one of our families we picked, and we're building another keep at the moment. So, not much, Sparky. You haven't missed a whole lot. Before, you were making choices on the battlefield. Now, we'll be making choices on the battlefield of life. <coughs> what? Come on. I will not apologize if I'm passionate about it. 
You know when you guide the heroes in battle? Well, sometimes the people, your heroes included, will want your advice on matters they can't so, decide themselves. like a normal rule. They'll be putting their choices in your hands, and sometimes their lives. And the decisions you make may affect the morale of the nation. Unfortunately, we've learned that the cadence feeds off grief and malcontent. So if something tragic happens, corruption can spread very quickly. Shit. But the opposite is true, too. We will trust your decisions, whatever they end up being. So this involves Lydia Fenrius. The wait time between attacks is considerable, and your heroes can only stomach training for so long. Linda Fenrius has grown especially relentless and wants to give the rest of the heroes another outlet for their time, besides the mastering of killing. Lin Lydia has four options for you to consider. Build a library, build a tavern, build a square ball stadium, or build an art gallery. Well, if we're venting the frustrations, square ball stadium sounds quite good, because sports always seems to do that, so... So she will be gone for six years. Nothing cures boredom like point-based co competition. You approve the stadium and are eager to see how the heroes will benefit once it's constructed. So she has gone for six years. Okay, so I can't have her fight. That's good though, she's not part of the vanguard. Oh hang on, another baby was born. Oh no, he's grown up. Oh god, Grendel. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, it's the monster that benefit that uh oh god that uh, <laughs> I don't know I I can't think my brain right let's just go here So here's the family of the uh Fenris clan So they have Terence Lysander they have four boys no girls and all of them brulists So let's have a look so he is 14 this is a near sighted one dim witted one Lysander near sighted but quick study no personality traits yet and the same with that, the other. I think it's only the firstborn that gets personality traits. Hmm, Grendel of the Fenrius clan. Yeah, I found that rather funny too. Both I Norse mythology. The day I finished my training and set off for the capital. There was a lot of crying. So, mostly from the kids I crushed during my advanced gouging final. What a day that was. It always arrives faster than one expects. Beowulf, Daniel. How do I know that this and you didn't? I do know it, it's just my brain wasn't coming into it. So Terence, you've changed! So he is a brewerlist. So I don't know exactly what brewerlist is. So personality, rebel. Personality traits run counter to those of, of parents and trainers. <laughs> Reveler and reckless. This hero care, hero's careless manner decreases armor effectiveness. You bloody careless fool! Right, I don't know what brewerlist does, but we'll find out when we next have him in combat maybe. There we go, another bloodline can be made. Huzzah! And fertility is increased on this one. I think we're going to have one of our other houses. So we've done the Fenrius clan. So who should we have? The Casper clan, the Zenith clan, the Dark Lights. Oh, hang on. One of the Dark. Yeah, there we go. Chris Darklight. Low fertility. So we could have the Dark Lights clan, but it would mean he'd be taken away from the Vanguard. Yeah, I know. I thought that might be the case. Uh, but Nelson K K Gamestar is the only one of his family, and he is now 53. Still has average fertility. But I don't know how long it is until we build another one, and I would like one of the other houses. But it's up to you guys. I'm going to leave it up to you. So who's who should be appointed regent to this place? To the keep. And rule over it with malcontent. Go with Nelson Gamestar. Alright, there we go. Nelson Gamestar. It's mine, bitches. So, longevity, so longer life, that's good. Quick, arthritis, <laughs> optimistic, and reveler. So, he's the drunkard. Ah! So, we can match him with Alana Fenrius, one of the Fenrius clan. She is, a, and they will make blast cappers. High, high chance, I think that's quite good. Yeah, let's do that then. There we go. I led your brother astray by making him a drunkard. Now let's see how I can make you drunk. Ha <laughs> ha. What? What? There we go. Now let's see what else we can do. So we can do training for them. Items. Vitality band. 
wellness rings sold outside the capital supposedly prompt good health for the wearer. With some research, we could modify them to increase the maximum health of a hero. Search for heroes, discover new heroes, nations. I think we'll look for new heroes. So we can actually get some new families going here. Right, onwards. And they're back. Shit. Again. Yes, I thought they'd given up too. So we can either go to where we built our keep recently and gain a 26 year old female and fight a new enemy, called, which are raptures, and earn a level 1 cable jack, or 25% reduction of current search time. Oh, It's the same fight no matter where we go, but I think we're going to go here because corruption's already started there. So unfortunately Nelson game style, you're going to have to fight on your own for a moment. Right, so we've got to add a hero now. Now, I think we should get, give one of our new... Uh, ooh. Let's give General Zenith a go. Hello, I am General Zenith. Oh no. Hello, brother, I've come to fight. There we go. This is where we can equip him with stuff, but no need to. My god. Bohemer, you look old. Shut it, you bugger! Young whippersnappers are always trying to tell me I'm too old for the battlefield. Why, I order. Smash your teeth in! It's a fine day for battle, all things considered. Every day is a fine day for battle. Right, sneak around. I oh, can't go that way, so the only thing I can do... I can't... This is the annoying thing, is having to move them, but into cover. Go off to the right there, see what you can see. Nothing, okay. How far can you go? There's nowhere really near to stealth, so... Yeah, I'm gonna keep you there for a the moment, so end your turn. Two brothers, Kaber Jack and Ka both Gennaro Zenith. Frederick, you go in between our two hunters. Oh shit. Laps and two raptures. raptures. What? They rush into battle, no concern for their own safety, knowing that as soon as they come upon their prey, they'll explode into a corrosive mess of pain and suffering. Even in death, they still hurt their enemies. It's beautiful. Right, we've got to kill these raptures before they get near us, because they explode and spread acid everywhere. And the laps is going to fire at us. Gennaro, are you alright? That fucking hurt! The good thing is, Cable Jacks can knock them back, but for a reduced amount of damage. Right. Frederick. Move there. Give him one of your flasks, boy. Ooh, that got rid of both of them. Perfect. Nice shot there, Finn. Frederick. Uh, there we go. Nice one. Level up. Cool. Right, we can't go through there now because of the acid, unfortunately. Right, move up so the hunters can move up a bit. End your turn. Actually, can he hit her from here? It seems like the more better the distance, the more likely they are to hit. Oh, she's still up, that's fine. Actually, he can hit her from there. Right, do it. Oh, come on! God damn it. Right. Gennaro, get back there so you can, don't get hit. Your brother's moved up to try and get its attention. That gilly! Shit, Frederick's getting hit now. It's all your fault, damn you old man! I'm sorry, uh, my eyes aren't what they used to be! Go. Dark light once again proving themselves. Right. Fine, I'll just go over here. Bloody young whippersnappers always getting on my case. Right. Cable Jack and Cable Jack, move up. 
Frederick, stay with him. You are the cannon of this tank. And turn, and turn. Right, anywhere. Oh, hang on. Let's stealthily move this way. Let's see what's over here. Nope, nothing. That's good. Nothing is alright, because we don't want massive hordes of enemies everywhere, unless we want experiency farm. Right. Everyone move that way, considering that it's secure at the moment. I don't, because I don't want, because the more damage they take, the more likely they are going to be dead, and I don't want them to be dead. Death is a bad thing. Right, no sign of any enemies as of yet. I'm literally selecting the person, and you're being a right pain. Right. Go there, because we can't confirm if there are any enemies in these trees. Can't see anyone as of yet. Around the corner. No, okay. Cable jacks. Follow after them, Frederick. They're gonna follow the. Oh, yep. One enemy we didn't spot until just now, but it's a rupture, so he's got to charge at us first. Cheers, cheers, Joe. See you later, mate. Hope you enjoyed it. Right. Let's move here, so we all can get a better view of that rupture. There we go. Right, you two, you move there. Because with this thing, we don't want to get too close and end up our oh, guys getting hit by it. I want to try and get it over here, though. And, and turn. Right. Stealth mission over here. Keep going. There's another rapture. There's two of them over this way. Right, this one, yep, yeah, as I thought, rushing over. Right, move there. Form, not back. Shit, glance and blow. Did not knock it back. Not good. Not good at all. Right. Go that way. And please perform not back. There we go, thank Christ, that got him away at least. He is now stunned as well, which means that it will have a harder time trying to do anything now. Now come on, old Bahamal, show that you're still worthy. Yes, Bahamal! Another notch. Perfect. So, Frederick, move over here, boy. Right. I don't want him to get spotted, so it's right. Let's see if there are enemies over here first. There's another rapture there, and a lapse. So we've got a lapse coming from this side where we are, and a rapture. Two raptures over this side. Okay, that's fine. Oh shit! That was not there! That is, oh god, that was not there earlier. I think some enemies are randomly spawning in now, so he's got some corrosive damage on him. Let's move him out of there and then use one of our healing vials on him. Perfect. Stored him to full health. Nice. Right, old man. Lead the way. Call me out again, Sonny, and I'll bust your head in. I can still do that! Because we can't go this way now, which is annoying. Right. Is everyone enjoying the stream so far? Right. 
move around that side so you're behind that rock. A bit more obscured. Actually, move over there. Because then you're in a bit more sort of line of sight on these arseholes. Ooh, dear. No! Damn it! Shit, he's revealed. He is revealed, which means not available because he is spotted. Okay, right. Obscured. Thank Christ. Oh, that was not fun. Right. I'm gonna shoot this son of a bitch! Prove you all that I'm strong still! Huzzah! I was hoping he'd miss then, just for the laugh of it. Yeah, there'd be trouble ahead, quite literally. Right, can't move any of the cable jacks up. Right, we're gonna move them. Oh, this is annoying because Frederick could still get a range on it, but the problem is he is still too far away to do that. Right, I've got a cable jet ready to knock him back if need be, but... I need to... I want to get over to him. Yeah, no, damn it. Ooh, minus three, and he's going to get... Oh, we've got minus one to his armour. Oh, God, no. I know you're there, bitch. So that has hurt him a lot. Right. Heal yourself, boy. That healed him to full. We need to get over there. He's going to get killed otherwise. Come on, lads. Forward. Are we sure he is a hunter? He seems more like a cable jack every minute. That's just... Whatever his name. That's just Bohemian for you. Has he still got his teeth? <laughs> you mean my dentures? Made from the teeth of Cadence? Yes, I do. Shit. Right, this is where problems start occurring because we've got a lapse now over there. Oh, thank Christ. Because probably they're a bit too close to me. Oh God, a rapture. You think you can come after my people? i kill you. That's it, take it on the chin. Because he's still in the fucking acid. Right, move there. Then shoot her. Yeah, 17, come on. He oh, had 85%! Fuck! Right. You two worry about that. We'll deal with this. Oh, shit. Brother, I could use some assistance here. I failed to knock it back. That's fine. I'll charge it. That should move it. At least one step away from us. Great. That's perfect. Never fear, Bahamas here. Oh, gods. Here! Take this, you cadence bastard! That's right! Leave my friends alone! Oh, what's this? I appear to have leveled up! <laughs> Maz a box of frogs. So, for one more turn, he's gonna be on his jack. Oh, come on! Oh, damn it, not good. Level lost! Shit! So you can actually lose levels. It's a bit harsh, don't you think? Level lost! Oh shit! Give me back my level! Right. Right, follow your brother around. Level you bitch! I'll help! I'm coming to help! Here you asshole! Have a grenade! <laughs> Don't you miss! There we go! You may want to go change that guy's glasses prescription. <laughs> oh no! No! 
Don't blow up! Don't blow up, please! Oh god, no! You fucking asshole! I'm going to just... Uh, fuck you! Uh, ow! That hurt! Oh no! No! We got a problem! Rapture! Right there! You may want to run! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna throw a bo bomb there. And it killed it, yes! Good old Frederick! Right, we know there's another rapture this way, so we're gonna move everyone back this way. You're roughed up. You're roughed up. I'm using this on myself. I'm pro I'm sorry. Oh, that's so much better. Me joints, you see. Right. It's time for the brute force scouting now. Right, there it is. Move there. And turn. Move there with your brother. Follow up behind. No, I can't really do anything else. Right, let's see what happens. Hopefully he comes at us a little bit. Oh, yep, yeah, and he's going to blow up. Damn it, I didn't realise I was that close. Only put us down by one, though. That's alright, then. There we go. Level ups. I suspect we'll be hearing about this for a while. Just don't get cocky. There's nothing an enemy loves more than some idiot charging into battle thinking they're invincible. So says the near suicidal caber jack. I'm not cocky, I'm confident. <laughs> I'm not cocky, I'm confident. Yeah, confidence leads to cockiness. Confident cockiness leads to death. Death leads to well, death. Right, so there we go. That got rid of the corruption there. We've just gained it in a new area. So, the time to complete research of Discover. Of Discover New Heroes has reduced by 232 days. Pretty decent. Right, so we just got to make sure we fight that off next time. Right. Research complete. Nice. Let's have a little look. There's a very thin line. What do you mean, Em? So these are all the from different houses as well. Nice. Bunch of strapping young people. Right, research. Right, let's start getting some better ha armor for our hunters because they were the ones getting the most damage done, done to them then. And we're going to put another person into the sage right from our young candidates. Uh. Right. The highest inst There we go. Chris. Would you dedicate your life to this? So. Oh, insightful and fair heart. Fain hearted. And the fain heart isn't great. So, there we go. And it gives us a bit more of a research boost, which is nice. Right. Let's carry on. The natural. Uh, the stadium has been finished. During the opening game that night, Lydia Fenris quickly becomes the star player of the Racketeers, dazzling everyone with 12 lobs, 5 hoists and a, a 9 consecutive jackknives. Some specta so spectacular is the run that between innings, Lydia, Lydia manage Linda manages to also wed three couples, sell 37 racks of ribs and lead the stadium in a tear-jerking re rendition of Caber Jack Snap. By the way, if you see the light going on off, it's because my mum is cleaning the light at the moment. <laughs> oh well. Right, Lydia Fenris has returned, gaining the role model status, and all heroes have gained XP. Nice. So, the role model. We'll have a little look at that in a minute. Oh, we'll have a look at that now, we can actually. Frederick's leveled up quite a lot. 
So role model. What is, tell me what role model does, you... Details. There we go. Role model. Nearby friends in battle have an increased XP gain. Cool. Yeah, it was just like, do research. I was like, what? Oh, it's probably because there's new research now as well, because unstable comparison armor and all this stuff. Oh, sponge stone. <laughs> Weird stuff that's available. Right. And play. This should be good. Oh. I believe you'll have your work cut out for you. Oh no, Bahamal. Bahamal Casper has contracted a disease that the capital doctors have never seen before. They're calling it Bumboas. The symptoms aren't too severe, but they're recommending a quarantine because that could easily change and because it will take at least 10 years of study to figure out the cure. What do you do? Quarantine Bahamal immediately? We can't risk it spreading wherever it, wh wh whatever it is? Let Bahamal resume their duties. We can't afford to wait long and maybe the disease will leave on its own. Put D Bahamal in the chalice and see what happens. Oh, the chalice could make things work. I've, I'm thinking quarantine. I'm going to give it a few moments. Number three. You think put him in the chalice, but that could cause some major defect. Because this is the thing. It could infect the whole chalice and we could be fucked. Oh. I want to do what you want, Sparky, but I'm sorry. But I'm going with number one. I'm going with number one because I'm quarantining him. So we've lost him, but, but it's better to have lost him. Maybe his eyesight will get better. That's the reason why his eyesight was crap. He was infected. Oh, another graduate. Cool. So, another of the Fenris. No babies so far from this group, though. Come on, get out it, you two. I want a blaster cap. <laughs> I think the game star line is going to end. Huzzah! Bellator has been born in Arcade Land. <laughs> I've done number three and more than on one occasion. Oh no, who died? Chris Darklight. He never saw action. That means actually the last of the Darklights is in my is currently in my vanguard. Too late. Oh god, no. Bumal Casper has passed away from Bumboas. Unfortunately, the doctors were not able to develop a cure in time, but they are adamant that they will find success soon. Another one was born at the Fenris Keep, not wanting to be outdone. So we've lost two of our heroes. Oh, Bahamal, you will be remembered. I'm giving you benefits, this is immunity. I know, I'm sorry. The haven't gotten soft in their time off. I'm not sure that's even a possibility these days. Right. So, oh god, raptures and bulwarks. Raptures, lapses and bulwarks. So we can gain a 20 year old hunter, level 3, or a 19 year old level 3 caber jack. So, region information XP from Crucible. Research. Right, we're going for this one. We lost one of our fellows recently, but we will gain others. Right. I'll just give one of our brewer lists a go. So, Terence, it is time for you to prove yourself, you dim-witted, clumsy, nearsighted oaf. <laughs> right. You'll be going with your nep your uncle Frederick, who actually has an ability that you can get. So, I extra item slot. Gain an extra slot to carry items. Or, Spirit of the Dart Falcon. Increase range and accuracy for flask rows. I think we're going to do that. It makes sense considering he is a drunkard. And Hector, the highest hister at Dark Lights. I am the last of the Dark Lights family. I am 56 years old. Oh no, I'm not last. Oh no, I am. He's dead. <laughs> Oh, I'm not the last. Oh, nope, he's dead. <laughs> Someone get me my spectacles! Uh, are you sure you wish to deploy with this vanguard? Yes. Got two cave jacks, two alchemists. What's the worst that could happen? 
will die. That's the worst. Everybody here? Oh god. All good? Two raptures okay. straight away. Now Great. Hit them fast before they know what's happening. One over there as well. So this is a very open area. Right. Frederick, show your nephew how it's done. Right, so, right, nephew. This is how we do it. You give up, get a flask. You drink some ale, and you throw it right in between them. Your father's probably shown you this. He told me everything I know about being a drunkard. There we go. That way's blocked it now, unfortunately, because of the de deaths. So, Hunter. I, his are right. You all right to move, old man? I miss my friend Bahamo. There. Jesus, he only has eight hit points. Shit, I've just realized that. Not good. Right. I want him to come from this way, really, to be honest. Right. Move there, see if we can get a charge off, maybe. Not in the right way. Right. Right. Cave Jack's gonna take it. Oh, look. take this one. It's gonna hurt you, you idiot. I know. It was better either that or it hit your damn fool of a nephew. Tell him that he's gotta actually have a brain cell and stay back a bit. Mine's too, because he's in damage too, and I couldn't move him out. Right. Move there. Heal yourself. There we go. Let's check this side before we go any further. Right, it's a blaster capper. Throw knockback flask. That's cool. So he could have thrown a knockback flask if I had looked at that. God damn it. Right. Right, stay there, and turn. Don't you call my nephew a fool, you old coot. Otherwise I'll drink you into a st Oh god, there are three of them over there. There's bound to be a bulwark somewhere. Oh god, their movements really freak me out, because I keep on thinking that they're like spiders. <sighs> Right. Let's make sure the bulwark isn't over here with us. Oh shit! No, just three flipping raptures! All of who could spot him any minute. Right. Let's go this way. It looks like... Looks like to heal themselves, they hate themselves. It's still, I think it's like a s splash potion, so they smack it against their chest, kind of thing. You are very slow, nephew. What? Okay. I really want to get them all bunched together so I can u use my uh, flasks on them. Right. Let's move. Oh, for God's sake, right. You go that way. So as to make it so that the alchemist can move up. And the noise they make is hideous as well. There we go, one down. Right, I'm definitely moving my uh, hunter now because he's in the acid kind of there. And I will wait for his turn now. Uncle, I want to kill something. I want to kill something. God damn fool. You're going to get me and my brother killed. Right. 
no, I'm going to end his turn there. End turn. Oh god. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, Mr. Frodo. I don't care what you like, Sam. Boys, take it. <laughs> that uh, just shows you my mind on that. Jesus Christ, Daniel. I don't know what's going on with me today. I'm literally just coming out with the randomest of shit. Right. We don't know whether he's there. Literally only like seven damage. Toss a consecutive flask, concussive flask that deals slightly less damage but knocks targets back. So, blaster cat brutalists aren't exactly the best. They're more just about knocking things away. So, good for fighting raptures, I suppose, in a way. Right. End turn there because we can't see any raptures as of yet. End turn, end turn. Right. You move there. There we go. Throw it. And by the way, they can miss their throws in this. I am just getting very lucky with it today. Like Joe did when he rolled a perfect character that is just never going to be made. Ever. It's never, ever going to happen. It's never going to be heard from at all for D&D. Right, he can't actually see it, so... Right. Move there. Shoot it. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake, you idiot. Thank Christ, it's not that close. Finally, use your ability. Knock that fucker away from me! Oh dear, that's gonna hurt him if I do that. Uh, move there. Hey, finally, I get to do something! Knock back! Go! Ooh. Yeah! Five damage! Five damage, that's it? Ugh. That's how you do it, boy! You must be drunk or high. You, you're you saying weird things and take talking to a giant ch chalice. That is true. Right. I'm going to move these guys to the bridge. In case anything comes across it. And you're going to move there. I move there. To kind of make sure nothing comes up behind us. I like how this looks like a tiki face. Right. We still haven't found a bulwark yet. But we found quite a few raptures. Right. I think that's about as far as the map goes up that way. So, I think what we're going to do is move you there. Yeah, there we go. Rapture. Then move you far, as far back as we can. I was going to wait with you on that one. You two move up. And just get ready for that rap rapture to probably charge us. Yep, there we go. He's moved up, but not as much as I thought he would. That's good, though. I just didn't want to leave him standing there like a blooming plum. Mr. Pancakes is his name, that nickname. Really? I picked it myself. Oh god. Bulwarks. Bulwark. Like lapses prefer to fight from afar. And you better make your first hit count. Because at the slightest touch, this lug will shield itself, and then you're left standing with your caber in the wind. But it only lasts a short while. So have your heroes ready for a second round. Or a third. Right. <laughs> Get one over here. Right, we can't afford for it to block. Right. Then turn. I will stand alongside my brother. Right. We 
we're probably going to have to go this way now. You stay there. Hunter, you come back. Come back. Hector, you'll come back. Or fourth. Or fifth. I hate them. Yeah, these guys are like tanks. I mean normal tanks. Oh god. I knew there would be an enemy up there. I see you. Oh shit. Fuck you. Oh, bollocks. You're having a bit of trouble there, old man. Shut it, you. <laughs> Bloody young people these days. No respect for their elders. Take cover there. As I said, I don't want to have this area blocked off, so we're going to move in as much as we can. Follow him. You stay there in case that one charges. Because then you can throw a knockback flask if need be. Yep, I thought the Raptor was going to try it. Yep. I've only got one more flask as well with Frederick. That ain't good. Right. Come on. Don't miss. Oh, thank Christ. Can you knock them off the edge, the, the uh, raptures? Right. Yeah, after this, he has no more flasks. We've still got three raptures down that side to do with in this area to check and everything yet. Nope. Yep, there it is. Shit, six damage. Jesus Christ. Right. Right. Right, yep, go over there. Instant automatic response, god damn it. Just keep hitting it. That's all we can do at the moment. Right. Go there, because you can't really do much else at any time. Brutalist, terriblest thing I've ever made in the world. Oh, thank Christ. Yes! Take that, you bastard. No, at least took one off. And if I can try... If I had all five heroes around there, then I could have at least killed it instantly. Right. Scout out that way. Confirmed! No more fuck titivating now, boys. We've got to find these guys and kill them. Frederick's running out of flasks, so be cautious. I like the fact the old timer there is leading them, except for the hunter who's apparently. I don't lead, I run off! Look for me, lucky charms. Fuck's sake. What is wrong with me today? Nothing. Nothing's wrong with me. This is just me being myself for once. And giving up caring. Who takes nothing off? I think this is the first time I've helped you with a game. I think I've, I, I've actually played this more than you. You actually probably have him. And I was the one that introduced you to it. And told you to buy it. I think I've lucked out so far, though, on how it's going. Oh, there's a rapture. 
Stella! We, we, we want to kill you. Is that okay? Come on, knock it back. Yes! Done some damage to it at least. I think there's still one round there, so I'm just going to throw a knockback flask. And knock one right in front of me. Great idea, Daniel. Move there. Knock it away. There we go. Oh dear, there's a, they're going to just charge at us, aren't they? I don't have any more flasks, damn it. He has actually quite good health, so go in there and claw that one. Follow up shot just in case. No need. Killed it instantly. Now tell me that wasn't fun. We only have one left and most of our damaging guys are around it. Please don't go for little little Frederick's nephew. Cross your fingers, everyone, he doesn't go for Frederick's nephew. Oh thank Christ, it didn't even get a chance to move because it was stunned. Get out of the acid. <laughs> I'm going to shoot it from over here. It's dead! Huzzah! You still there, Sparky? Or are you too busy enjoying your meal? Right. Looks like we've cleared up this area, but we haven't gone further up here. So that looks like where we've got to go now. Right, everyone, back the way we just came. There's probably another bulwark somewhere. Ugh. Is this what it's like to be an adventure, be a hero? Yep, it's all work, no play, kid. By the way, I might do uh, one shot of XCOM sometime, and if I do, I'll be happy to add you followers into it, and we can create some of you into it if you like. <laughs> Let other people talk, Emma, for God's sake. Because I'm happy. Because I'm happy. Right. I love XCOM. Yeah, you've got the original, haven't you? And like I have, but not the second one. Give up, up, Uncle Frederick. You're you're lagging behind. Oh shit! The raptures have started moving on. I see the blood of our friends. There they are. Kill them. Kill them all. Uh, Hector, we could use your crossbow at the moment, boy. I'm just gonna end all their turns. Hopefully, they'll come at us. Go. Right, Hector. Kill it, please. There we go. Could use some more hunters, we could. So I might just make Hector marry a hun another hunter. Right, we can't go that way now because of the, all the acid. Please say this is the last one. Everyone counts. Fan Christ is. Okay, okay. Since you and your heroes did so well here, I'll try and make sure their ride home is more pleasant and less vomit inducing. They've earned it. <laughs> Fair enough. Killed 15, 15 enemies that fight. Only killed 8 in the last one. Alright, they've taken over more of that area though, but at least it's not like they've taken over on the second level for now. Right, let's carry on. We've got something for you. I doubt it's something you'll expect. Frederick, Mr. Pancakes, Fenrius, <laughs> uh, comes to you with a proposition. I know things are kind of rough right now, with the re regions getting taken over and all. 
I was wondering, there are a few places I go to when I feel better, to feel better about what I'm, we're doing. Would you like to accompany me to one of them? It helps me every, ta every time, and you could follow with your mind's eye. I'll even let you choose the place. Go to the Warbling Theatre and see a play. Walk over to the Royal Gardens and experience its beauty. Head to the Dirty Ostrich and have a drink with the people. I'm gonna... He's a drunk. Going over there to drink is literally the worst idea ever. Um, you know what, fuck it, we're doing it. He was already a reveller, so this is, that is no problem at all. Or was he reveller? Uh, yeah, he was already a reveller, wasn't he? Wasn't he? Oh god, what have I done? Aha, research done. Refined hunter armor is finished. Perfect. The dirty ostrich. Right. So we can refine cable jack. Oh, unstable caparis. So, raptures love catching assailants off guard by detonating themselves after they have been killed. We could do them one better by outfitting our alchemists with volatile armor that triggers when they take any damage at all. Damn. Advanced hunter armor. Eight years. Oh, items. Perilous core. With a g generous amount of bleh, amount of rapture head gems, we believe we can make their explosive capabilities portable. A self-detonating stone for the risk-prone hero. Or experience scarf. Oh, that's a cool one. That armor does sound really cool, though. Unstable caparis. Fine alchemist armor. Uh, research some better armor, which could help immensely. I think that would be quite good. What does anyone else say in the chat? Also have some. Oh, ram cap cap caber. What with the explosion explosives from raptures could be weaponized. Adding a explosive tip to the cabers could push enemies around a lot further than our standard models. I think better armor, something I, I usually neglect. Oh, Emma. Right, there we go. Use some of the charm things from that to do. From our raptures to do. Enemy raptures to do that. Right, I think the Dark Light family is going to die out. Alana Fenris's partner, the Regent Nelson Gamestar has died at the age of 65. Oh dear, the game start, the starter line has ended. Or so you think. We've got a blast capper here who is the only one of her kind. So we could have her, I think she's going to have to take over the reins, I think. Or we could give it to someone else. We've got one blast capper out of it, it doesn't mean that she, she ha has to be the last. And she's only 11, so she can't rule. Oh no, his, his partner died. Oh. So he's 70 and we can marry him to a 39 year old. We can make a shadow jack. Or we can marry him to Lydia, Linda Fenrius. Chance of children low because of her age though. Hmm. Right, let's actually put this in chance of children. Ah, there we go. So, Shadow Jack, Cable Jack, Blasted Capper. None, none, chance of children, none. Right, I think we're going to have to go for the one of the 39 year old then. There we go. Get you a newer model. <laughs> might, might get one bubba out of it. Yeah, at least. Nelson GameStar doesn't is so drunk he doesn't realise what it is. Oh no. Kazawari Zenith. I died fighting for my kingdom. 
Right, we're gonna have to try and make the Zenith clam c continue on because that another death. No, Hector, dark lights. No, the dark lights are gone, Emma. The dark lights are gone. No. This is one thing I hated about this game was it was so heart wrenching when one of them you lost an entire family that you wanted to keep. The hero's death isn't something to be happy about, but this is good news. Heroes that are particularly skilled at the time of their passing will have relics to their name that can be passed on to another for life. But only to heroes of the same house. These sacred heirlooms are powerful monuments to their bloodlines and will only grow in strength as they are passed down the line. They're all old. Oh, so Fenris, Mr. Pancake's Fenris died at age of 63. However, the legend will survive in the Bloodline Relics, baptised in your champion's acts of heroism. He was a badass, he was. Right. So. Uh, the Black Fly is the weapon he used. I think... There's nothing but brawlists! There's one alchemist, 63, Martin. You know what, Martin? You have it. You're the only normal one out of the lot of it. One vacancy. Who died? Oh, because there's still vacancy open. Uh, no, we're not going to put anyone else in there. It just said one vacancy. I thought, who died in there? The relics are good. Ooh. Right. Yay, new baby born. Ah, everyone stand back. Our alchemist can now equip the unstable Caparis armor. Good. And we gain another baby as well. Right. We'll build another keep. Right, so, we can build it in the Cinderlands, the Salt Stacks, which, you know, Cable Jacks, gain plus one strength. There we go. We'll try and save one of our families. Let's do it. Right. That area already has corruption, so it's probably better if we do that. And a newborn baby boy we'll get with that, or we'll get a 28-year-old level 2 female Cable Jack. Right, we're going to go with this one, because it already has some corruption on it. Ended up with only women for rulers and partners, so absolutely no chance of children. Had absolutely no idea now that how that happened. It's random. And look at this, that Vanguard is literally... None of them are here anymore. He got to spend some time with his uncle. Bellator, you are the luck game starter. You will live on your father's legacy. Hopefully not as drunkard. Um, let us put Eugene Casper into this. We need some hunters. I'm going to replace you with... Ooh. Hack and Slash. A special melee strike that deals a second weaker slash if the first hit lands successfully. Cool. So he's actually quite more of a fighter, to be honest, but with a very shit amount of elf. Right, I'm going to replace you with... Your uncle, I believe. Where's Martin? Oh, Martin is the one leading it, isn't he? Is it? I think it must be. Damn it. God damn it. Right, you know what? You're going in. You're going in. You have your knockback thing. Right. Add a hero. Uh, oh, a pull dozer. Let's give you a go, boy. Right. There's some points to be going around. Charge, yep. charge as well. There we go. I learned a thing or two from my brother. Let us deploy. Everybody here? All good? Okay. Now hit them fast before they know what's happening. Right, I've got to see them rapture more than instantly. Right. Eugene, hit the kill the rapture. I said kill it, not dance with it in shadow. Right, you move up, kill both. Of oh dear, no seed. That's fine. Seeds are fine. I don't mind seeds. Right, sixty percent. Did all right. Got both of them at least. Break the chains. Right. 
actually. Can't can't go that way, and it's only a seed that way, so let's go this way. Oh, two raptures. Not good. That's divinity. Oh. Oh shit! Not good. Bulwark as well. Jesus Christ, this is where it starts. We start losing people. Right, okay. Pull back! Kill this one at least. There we go. Because now I'm going to move you, Dozer, to there. And you're going to throw a flask. Nope. There. This is where the heroes die. Pretty much. Right. All the cable jacks behind cover again. Throw that there. Perfect, that got rid of one of them at least. This is where our poor nephew to Frederick is gonna die. Oh, he's on six. So close. Oh god, no! Dozer! Oh shit, in hell. There's acid everywhere! Get out of the acid, boy. Heal yourself. Heal to ten. Good. Heal yourself. Keep an eye on where he is. The rest of you, end your turns. I thought he was going to come at us. That's fine. Go over there. It's actually good if he comes at us because he's got to hit us then. Right. Heal yourself up. Heal to 11, that's not bad. The rest of you, wait. Come on. He's just not going to come around that corner, is he? Right. Come on. Yes! Oh god, no! Oh, he is really determined to kill the Fenrius Lion, isn't he? Right. Um, nice one. So he's shielding himself. That doesn't matter though, we're still going to go for it. Explosive, yep, do it. Damn it, I was hoping for a bit more damage than that, but that's fine. Better than nothing at all. There we go, so his shield is gone, so he's gonna now shoot. Yeah, he's gonna shoot at Fenris. Oh, Jesus Christ! 
He has nearly killed us all with this one person. Fucking bulwarks. Barely made any ground at all on this. Oh, I haven't equipped it with the new armor either, have I? For fuck's sake, I bet you anything. Oh, God's sake, right. Let's just move this way now. We can't move out any other direction. He's already used his healing, so he's screwed. There we go. Punch it in his face! Right, both my alchemists are in a bad way at the moment, so they're going to be staying at the far back. You're a dummy. How am I a dummy? I am not a dummy. You're a dummy. Meh. Yeah. got the freaking armor. I might have done. I don't know whether I have. We're not going to just assume anything. Let's play. Right. Um, and confirm. Keep on thinking any minute something's just gonna jump out at me. Damn, there's literally no cover for him to like scout properly. Confirm. That seed right there. Fuck it. Go for it. Hey, that's your shit! Right around the corner. And obviously there's a rapture, of course. Right. Alchemists! Another Up and over. And you missed the one I wanted you to hit, though, didn't you? Didn't you? I just remembered I have chocolate in my bag. <laughs> Fuck's sake, come on. Priorities. Right. Confirm. And because he's in. Oh, that squished him perfectly. Well done there, Fenris boy. Just like your f gr uncle. Little less drunk, I'll say that. Terence. We're gonna end everyone's turn. Yep, the rapture's gonna move out of sight because he's a dick. Move there for me if you wouldn't mind, Terence. And throw a flask there. 
I got him out of into the view. Hello, good sir. Would you like a crossbow bolt to the face? They're uh, free for one pound. Damn it, miss! You never forget about chocolate. Chocolate is life. Right. Come on, explosive cable. Show me what you got. Oh god damn it, you meant to knock it away. Now tell me that wasn't fun. Yeah, it's not fun, she's burning. Oh god, there's another bulwark. Oh why? She's stuck in the acid at the moment. And another actual of course. Uh, so far, we've got one game star person who ah. may die at the moment. Uh, her dad has remarried because her, his other half died. And the other one has produced quite a few, but they're all not as good as they you'd want them to be, in a way. Right. Right, we're going to move everyone back a bit. Not bunch out. Make sure not everyone's bunched up together because that seems to be his strong suit. Move there. Move there. Right, you actually move around there so he can't hit you. Good work. Oh no. Oh thank god the bulwark hasn't been able to do anything this round. Right, how much damage will that do? Only 11. How much would you do? 10. How much would you do? 17. How much would the other caber do? 14. Right. Open up with our lovely friend here and his hack and slash ability. Ooh, 15. 7! Insta kill! Oh my god! Go Terence! Brawlists are actually quite good, it turns out. Oh, flippin' heck. Right. How's that for you, Em? Mm-hmm. Right, let's follow up. Come on. Damn it. Follow up, failed, but hey. I thought that might happen. Right. Now the that is down, we'll start moving up a bit more. I'm not gonna move you up because you could end up getting killed easily. Not back, yep. Perfect. I get way too excited about this. Right, there's still more, damn it. Right, let's keep moving. Right, we're gonna let him scout out a bit. Everyone else just move in a bit and then we'll move up. Yep, another seed. I think usually if it's coming to the end, they start f coming at you with intent to kill. More so than usual, obviously. Right, there we go. We've got a bit more of a view of what's there now. And no turns. But they've got to come at us. And that's fine. We can take that. Shit. There'd be another rapture. That is not good. Right. You move there. Because I don't want you to die. Desiro, kill that seed or flask. They didn't have the in intent to kill to start with. Well, they're more eager, let's say. I'm going to keep him like that for a moment. He hasn't actually used his healing potion yet, which is good. Oh. Oh shit. You bastard! Clever little shit, aren't you? 
Oh, I'm going to just, you know, use this explosive on you. <laughs> Hurt me as well, but I don't care. Fucking kill it. Say that, you shitbag. This pool of acid is just getting bigger and bigger. Right. Uh, you are near death. And you're the only l member of the game star, s star line. Step. Pull back. Throw your explosives. Damn it. Not far enough. Bollocks. Right, he still has one. He's of a family that I don't give two shits about, so... <laughs> I don't give two shits about your family. You go forth. I think he heard me because he fucked that up on purpose, you selfish bastard. You're gonna die now for that selfishness. Unless this charge can actually help you. Ooh, right. Move there. And charge. I'm in acid. And I knocked it away. Oh no, cross your fingers you don't die. Thank Christ, that's the end of it. Oh my god. I suspect we'll be hearing about this for a while. Just don't get cocky. There's nothing an enemy loves more than some idiot charging into battle thinking they're an Yeah, we've already heard that. Bloody hell, that fight was a bit, you know, much, wasn't it? And I was enjoying myself so much that I didn't realise what time it was. So we've lost that bit to corruption, but we got rid of corruption there. Our tactical team has rescued a baby boy. Shall we... Sh shall be trained in a keep? Uh, there we go, we'll put them in... They'll adopt the orphan, because they don't have that many children of their own yet. So they have Sonya GameStar and Randall GameStar, and... Oh, good. There we go. Right, we're still building the keep. Right, I think, considering how far we... How bad that went. I'm going to end it there for today. If the, just because this is a one shot, guys. I'm not ending it because, for any other reason because I don't want to see all of them die. Um, when's the next stream of this? So you like it that much, do you, Sparky? Well, uh, let me just say my piece and then you can uh, leave a like on it let, when I put it up on YouTube. Continue it. <laughs> Right, if you did like what you saw here, guys, don't forget to follow up above and turn on the notification so you can get notified when I'm next live. If you're watching on YouTube and you want to know when I'm live, just go to twitch.tv slash wolfreaper54. My schedule is right down below along with my um, link. Along, and if you want to get more early warnings of when, I, when I'm going live, do follow and turn on notifications. And follow me on my social medias, Instagram and Twitter, at wolfreaper54. That's what you've got to follow. That way you can get early warnings and let me know what you think of some of my models that I'm making. Um, if you also, and in there, if you want to see more of my content that I do here on Twitch, just click down below to my YouTube channel, subscribe, ding the bell so you can get notified when my next videos come out. Do check out the playlist called Let Me Know If You Like. I leave all of the little one shots like this one that's going to be going there. I. And if you like, if you see something on the stream or you see something there you want to see more of, leave a like on it and I promise you, you will more than likely see it in the stream. And if there's any set things you want to do, like for example for this you want me to set, have all the silly names or again, do it both or pick certain families if there are certain families in that from only Z or A or certain letters in the alphabet, do leave that in the comments down below of this video. Yeah, I and don't forget to come back to my stream later on at midnight when I will be do, continuing on Banner Saga in Banner Saga 3. I hope to see you there, guys. I've really enjoyed this stream. Thank you to everyone who came and watched, and I'll see you later on tonight. Bye bye.